Hello, how are you doing, guys? Doing, doing good. good. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you for talking to me today. I know you must have a lot of interviews. <laughs> it's not so bad. Yeah, it's, only, it's nice. Uh, it's a couple. We, uh, it's nice talking to coffee. friendly people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I must admit also that I'm obsessed with the album. I, I really thank like you. your music. So I think the album is really, really good. I love it. And I'm obsessed with Leave Me, Co and Leave Me Feeling Confident, uh, A Kiss. I love A Kiss. It's like my, I wake up to the song, so. <laughs> Sick. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, how has it been for you this past few days post-release of the album? It's been pretty chill. Yeah, we, we the, the, Thursday night, we had a, like an event and we were kind of, you know, partying a little on the next night. We had an actual release party, like at a spot in Hollywood. And we were, you know, we were kind of like celebrating, let's go. And then after that, we kind of just, you know, took it chill. It was kind of like hung out in LA, uh, got some things together. Uh, we already started working on new songs. <laughs> wow <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, um, already think about the next step yeah pretty much there's always something cooking up in the studio um <laughs> yeah cooking up <laughs> and yeah. can you tell us about the creative process of this record and how different or similar was it from the first one um similar process from the first one um just different in different in um just time yeah different in essence uh, uh there's a lot of different things happening in our lives from the first record to the second record the second record took place over kind of a long time um like we, I, we started making some of those songs some years ago yeah. um and then obviously a lot of it was finished kind of at the back end of the pandemic of the of the lockdown mm -hmm. um And has the lockdown uh, affected your creativity? I know a lot of songs were done prior, as you said, but has the lockdown, the pandemic influenced in any way your creativity or the way you make music? Yeah, because I think it gave us a lot of time to, to get pretty introspective. Um, and I think whenever you get all that downtime and all that alone time, you're bound to grow pretty significantly. And I think because we did grow, it inevitably affected how we approach music and um, just our whole process and our whole thinking, even just towards life in general. So I, I definitely feel like the pandemic was a, actually a positive factor in our lives um, and a positive factor when it comes to us making music. Mm -hmm. And what has changed the most in the way you make music from the period of R5 to now the driver era? Because it seems like more, both both bands are great, but it seems like more mature, I, I think, like listening to, to both bands. How did you feel about the, those changes? What changed the most? Uh, I mean, this the most recent album, we wrote and produced everything ourselves and getting back to our five days uh you know there's a lot of uh outsourcing yeah there's a lot of just like you know uh sessions where we're you know, we're writing with other people uh there's there's songs that other people are producing uh you know we're also at that time still kind of learning our 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 craft and, and figuring out how to do all those things uh, mm -hmm. and so you know you're, you're naturally going to have a change because you just have different people working on music um, yeah but uh yeah it's like <laughs> it's not like we basically wrote and produced all us uh, all by ourselves uh, um mm -hmm. which is definitely a little bit more work and it's, it's a little bit more responsibility, um, but we really like what we've been making and we feel like it's really special 
and um, there's also more freedom I, I guess more freedom to create and to to do yourself and to explore I think is a, is a crucial mm -hmm. part of that because sometimes yeah. when you, you know depending on your circumstances you might have more pressure to to conform and because we've been doing it for so long we're in a spot now to where we can just kind of do whatever we want um and we kind of decided it for it to be that way um yeah and we just feel like we're making special music and and we mm -hmm. hope people feel the same way about it as we do yes and is there any artists or bands bands that you like to collaborate in the future oh yeah definitely yeah. rihanna okay. would love to do some collaborations. rihanna uh and 50 cent yeah Wow. Yeah. I like 50 Cent. That's Honestly, sick, I would, I'd be about with just 50 hopping on a fucking verse. Oh, for sure. Imagine. I mean, really? That'd be kind of hype. Yeah, I, well, I feel like a lot of people would want us to, like, collaborate with bands. But our sweet spot, actually, would be more ethnic, um, honestly, hip-hop-based music would be our mm -hmm. preferred collaboration. If somebody... If somebody if a big time rapper for some reason came to us, mm -hmm. and like, we want you to produce our album. This rapper. That's cool. If the okay. rapper was saying that, I honestly think we would crush it. I would <laughs> like, yeah. like for sure. Like I, like all we're doing is is making beats, and maybe there's like, mm -hmm. where there's like a, a a top line hook, like we throw in every mm -hmm. once in a while. But majority of it is like a rapper just like spitting on all these verses, and then again, you have like maybe there's like hooks on the singles that we do. Yeah, it'd be cool to just go to like, <laughs> it'd be cool to go to one of those workshops because I think a lot of those guys have like they have like camps. Yeah. They go off and they rent a house and they do like a week of songwriting or whatever. That'd be it'd be fun insane. to it'd be fun to go to one of those and just. Uh, just put our, just put our, like the Kanye one. Yeah, yeah. That'd be insane. Like, like, imagine, imagine that. Like, we just, you know, wherever it was, it was like, it's in Maui, Maui or something. And, and, and like, literally, just like pull up and you just pull up with your laptop. Yeah. And we're just like, like I think Travis we're, Scott we're, does that. We're too. just like play some shit, see what you fuck with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or I, I, like, I want to like play some piano or something. Like, just yeah. like, let me jam with you guys. Bro, I honestly think. Imagine. Right? I saw on the comments of the videos. <laughs> There's a lot of comments saying that uh, Harry Styles should sing with you guys because it matches a little bit the voices. And hey, hey, you know, if Harry Styles wants us to come and produce his album too, I think we'd crush it. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I'm saying I, I think there could be some some magical connections there. I think. Yeah. Tyler, the creator too, actually. I just went to a screening. He like hosted the screening in LA and I went down to it and... Uh, I don't think he knows who I am. I don't know. He, he might. I, think he does. I guess that's why I got invited or something. He definitely does. Bro. I feel like we could be friends. Can we yeah. be friends? <laughs> that's, that's one of his sick. songs, yeah. <laughs> the fans would go crazy, I, I imagine, because I, I didn't even think about it. And then I saw the comments and I was like, okay, it would be a good match also. But also you're talking about hip hop and rappers. It would mm -hmm. also be a great match. So it can go both ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tower the Creator, though, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. Fun. And there's a huge tour coming up, and I imagine you're all excited because you haven't toured in like two years. And how are you guys preparing for it? Are you preparing for it already? How are you guys um, uh, excited? <laughs> we did like some, uh, we already we did like a, a, a week of, of studio rehearsals then. A month ago so we there's been a little like groundwork we've already put in mm -hmm. um so some of the like some of the songs that if we hadn't done that right now i'd probably be like figuring out some parts but some of those parts i already figured out uh mm -hmm. but other than that like there's just there's a couple um like depending on um how we actually end up playing these songs live there's a couple like uh samples and synths that we we would still want to work out uh mm -hmm. other than that the best way to prepare is to uh to practice yeah what i was gonna say is just like to is to not prepare oh <laughs> you know yeah. just go and do it yeah yeah you want to be fresh that's the secret to yeah. all things yeah. yeah and is there a song in the album that you're most excited to play live and to see the live reaction of the fans 
Uh, yeah. I number think, one fan. I think the, the song on this album that's going to do the most shreddage live will be. Whoa. That's quite the intro. Will be. <laughs> you know what? I feel like. Uh, I feel like not necessarily like shreddage or whatever, but I feel like a, a one that's going to just be a staple will probably be Leave Me Feeling Confident. Like, I don't yeah, know. Really? Yeah, because I think it kind of reminds me of like a, it just reminds me of like, like a one of, I don't know, it just reminds me of like an old school like Ross song, but it's like, it like always <laughs> goes off. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it always reacts. Yeah. I can yeah. see that. It's Mark one of my favorites. Words. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, so I think... Yeah, that's sick. Yes. <laughs> and you're coming back to Brazil. Uh, you you've came to Brazil as R5, right? And it will be your first time as the driver era. I think How so. How are you guys feeling about it? Doing good. Excited to be back in Brazil. Um, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a great show. You guys, the fans in Brazil always blow us away and always leave us uh wanting to come back again and yeah super excited it's yeah. gonna be great yeah it should be fun what do you like the most when you come here besides the fans what do you like uh, most do you, any foods or the, drinks the or cafe, anything re, cafe what are those yes yeah, that's right. those things <laughs> dangerously good and nice. one time we got to play rio and that was super fun <laughs> I remember back when when you were here last time, I interviewed Riker, and he said Caipirinhas as well. <laughs> really? Yeah, we got, yeah. You know, we got a soft awesome. spot for... Um, the drink. whole family. After all, we are a band. Yeah. <laughs> we like to get our drink on every once and again. <laughs> That's awesome. And also, um, Ross, I must ask you, otherwise the fans will kill me, but is there any pro are there any projects uh, in cinema or TV coming up soon? Or are you just focusing on music right now? I got to be honest. I've been slacking on the self-tapes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I guess I just have been focusing on the music. That's, it's definitely been focusing on the music, but mm -hmm. I also have been slacking. A little bit mm -hmm. in the acting world. Um, yeah. I'd like to. I'd like to go and hone in on that craft a little bit more, and uh, like do some classes and. Because I really do like acting. Like I really enjoy it a lot. Um, mm -hmm. But I just want to make sure that I'm. I want to get better. I want to get good. I want to get really good before that next project comes around. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a feeling there's going to be one pretty soon that will mm -hmm. uh, be worthwhile. Mm -hmm. so we'll see. Yeah. Project and now it's done. And I also love when you played Demer mm. and it was a huge project. You, you are good. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I mean, there's, there's just always room to improve. And that's, yeah, and I feel like that's, that's the fun part of art is, mm -hmm. is diving deeper. Mm -hmm. So guys, last question. Um, would you like to send a message to your Brazilian fans? Absolutely. You guys, we're going to see you very soon. Uh, get, put, get your dancing shoes ready. Get your caparinhas ready. Polish them up. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna have a good time. Yeah. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Much okay. love. Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure. I, I'm honestly really obsessed with the album, so Heck yeah. I hope it does great. <laughs>